Hello, welcome. A very enjoyable game going to be coming up right now. Endpoint coming up against Heroic. This is Heroic's map pick, and we are going straight into this one. A best of three between these two teams to decide who's going to be pushing their way through to face the winner of Fnatic and Nordvind in that round of eight and to fight for a qualifier spot. Loser will be out, so everything on the line here as they push forward. It's the end point side on the CT defense. Thomas Surreal pick up a couple kills, but Bora Pants him back with two of his own. He gets a third as well, now brings things into the two on two. Got Surreal still at the back over towards CT, making it work, and he finds free for himself, putting Cadian in that one versus two, and he's just going to back away. He's going to run away all the way towards T-spawn. Well, Mighty Max is going to be hearing all of this from the underground position. Not quite spotted out by Cadian there. He's going to be able to get the flank up. And with Surreal on the site already, that's going to divert Cadian's attention to that point. But Surreal needs to be careful. He doesn't push too far forward here or give away the frag too easily. Cadian might be able to take him down. He's only on 10 HP and Mighty Max coming through the apartments now. Surely can end things. Going towards the balcony. We'll just get the shot off. Not quite the headshot, but it's still the round going endpoints way. The first one in this best of three does go endpoints direction. Game volume. Okay, one second. One second for you lovely people. Now that should be a little bit better now. You're welcome, honey. Tom P. There you go, it's just a little low in OBS, I'm assuming. I uh, changed a game setting or something, I didn't realise. But, nice start for the endpoint side. The Brits as well as the Dutchman and the Swede. Off to a, uh, off to a nice start there, Surreal with a nice few kills. Or a, found a few of his own, not quite enough for his team though. Heroic do four in that first round. I'll be hoping to bounce back quickly here. They have more on that hero AK-47 here. Caden getting taken down early. That's one of the pistols gone. And a couple Mac 10s, a Deagle to try and keep fighting with us. But up on that AK does pick up one. Looking for more, but can't quite find it. Mighty Max is ready on the M4. Eventually, Stalin pushing in. Takes him down. Well, that's now just him all alone. Three endpoint players to find. And there's plenty of time. He has the bomb. And now he has no head. Surreal clips that one off an endpoint. Securing a pretty clean second round there. Keeping a few players alive. Now Heroic, going to be just on the pistols here, I'm assuming. Going to be endpoint up to a third round, I doubt. I highly doubt that Heroic are really going to be able to do much in this one. So it is just a couple deagles, a P250. On Nico's hands and a pass push towards A coming through to try and walk fall out of the apartments for crucial. With a couple kills, it's a lovely shot from Stalin, but it's all they're gonna get. Endpoint do keep themselves with four plays alive. Third round on the board. And they're gonna keep on chugging for now. But it is gonna be heroic with the full buy. That's gonna get the orb up surely here. Cadian with 6k does go for it. Stalin's gonna get himself the AK-47. Endpoint have crucial on the orb as well now. We'll see who will be getting the better of each other. Robin's still on that MP9. We'll be hoping to maybe just switch it out for a weapon at some point in this round, but the MP9 is still a viable weapon to try and fend off a few approaching terrorists. Error, just going fast in towards B. It's only one player here to defend. That's the IGL for Endpoint. He goes down quickly. Thomas over towards Short. Can only find one leaving. Endpoint in the disadvantage. It's Nico catching the rotations. That's going to be the round for Heroic, surely. The crucial left alive. One versus four that he cannot deal with. Maybe finds a kill there, but actually... It's like he's just going to try and keep himself alive. Very nice hit from Heroic Ledge. It's going to have a, a lot of aggression in the early stages of this game. And that one did catch her endpoint off guard. There's only Mighty Max on the defense of that B site. Crucial has Medi's position clear. 
Drops a Molotov to try and hold back one player. And well, he's being pushed and he's not going to survive. Nico gets the kill crucial. Wasn't quite ready for the player coming around the back. Was expecting it from the the A site side. But it is going to be heroic cleaning up that round. They deny endpoint any saving. And Crucial's going to get the AWP up again. But this time he's glass cannon. He was dropped over that AWP. Robin's just left on a deagle in this one. Sure, if Borat meant to throw the flashbang like that, but hit the wall, so I'm assuming not. And Robin's going to get flashed in. A lovely flash as well. Robin's able to clack onto Cadian there. It's a real the MVP in that kill, and another flashbang as well. Almost allows Nico to fall by the wayside, but he's able to get away with just a single tag onto him. He's, uh, his reflexes are a little bit quicker than Cadian's by the looks of things. Gonna throw the weapon over. Nice. Nicely done by Nico there. Just a 9 M point. Any sort of weaponry. But it is still heroic in that disadvantage early on. 50 seconds on the clock. They've still got time to work with, and they're taking control of mid now. Crucial, not going to be spotting them pushing forwards with that MVP, but he does catch Darwin in connector. Nice early shot to extend the advantage, and another one coming through as well. He's just picking off these heroic players, and now Surreal pushes through the smoke as it fades. Finding one, and a second, a beautiful round from endpoint there. With the force by, they can make it all work, and Crucial will be able to get himself some armor for that up. So a fourth round on the board now for endpoint. Now it's heroic on the back foot. They do have the full weaponry. Once again, Cadian, there's that all up on the floor for him. They get four AKs around it, but missing quite a bit of utility for a few of these players could be a bit of an issue for them. We'll see if they do need a tissue or not. As Well, Nico definitely is. He's been taken down almost immediately by Robin. Quick shot through the smoke, and Cadian just pushing forward. He's just... Push through the smoke at ramp and caught Surreal unawares. Surprise that Crucial didn't hear that scope from the ramp and maybe called out to his teammate just to be careful. Now eight. Well, now in the heroics advantage. The Blaons have worked their way through the connect to the heroic side and that's caught off Robin. So he's going to try and fight back for one. Just being prepared for any sort of response from this heroic side as he does collect that first kill. Thomas working his way through CT. Has the low HP Borup around the corner who he should be able to find. But that's a lovely flashbang as Borup actually gets blinded up by his teammate as well. Gives away his position now. Thomas is able to seal out that kill pretty simply in fact. Tess is now next up to the fight. We'll deal with Thomas but Crucial coming in from the palace. He's been lurking there the entire round. And he's able to deal with Tessus leaving just the author of Cadian over by the firebox. One versus two. He's expecting the drop down, but crucial. Oh no, this could be huge. He gets the first kill towards Cade from Cadian, but Mighty Max is able to shut it down. Just about. Cadian had a chance there. If he'd maybe found where the second player was first, could have found that double, but going for the shot on towards crucial instead. M point do secure another round here. This is the first map of the best of three. And it is Heroic's map pick with M point starting on the CT side. They're starting off strong as well. Five to one. We'll be hoping to try and break the Heroic economy. But M points isn't that great either. One loss here could spell the gaster for them, but crucial. Does it take the opening pick and Caden going down? Didn't have an AWP. Now he has nothing because he's dead. Like heroic, gonna try and hit this B site once more. They've had success here already, but there's two players on this site now. Mike's in Max and. Thomas and the Puff is going to get mowed down by Stalin. The Galil works out wonderfully for him. Swift 
shifted things into the advantage for Heroic quite dramatically. Bomb still not planted. With 55 seconds, they've got the time to do so. Crucial over by Market Door. Look at Borup's position as well. Surreal is checking for him. But not well enough. And that will cause Endpoint now just to go for the save. With Surreal going down in mid. Broke are going to keep themselves alive. Find themselves a second round here. And force Endpoint into what is going to be an awkward situation in terms of buy. Crucial could drop one. But, I mean, apart from that, it's going to be some maybe SMGs. A couple of pistols, if that. Borup is actually on the hunt right now. He's working his way through the palace. Might be able to catch Robin here, and that would be even worse for Endpoint. Is Borup going to peek? Yes, he is. Does he have the time? Or oh, he goes for the quick jiggle. Gun that out so he doesn't take the shot. But it is still heroic with that second round on the board. Endpoint do get that extra rifle up, crucial, dropping that across, an SMG for Mighty Max and a CZ-75 for Thomas. I mean, they've, they've won with worse already this game. Let's see if they can perform with something similar here. As Rogue do have the five rifles for themselves, it's a pretty solid buy, but obviously no AWP for Cadian. That might be a deciding factor in this round. Crucial, been hitting some nice shots already. Heroic definitely now just turn their attention towards the A side endpoint. Actually playing quite aggressive over towards a ramp together. Both Surreal and Robin are going to be facing a horde of angry Danish players pushing at them soon. There's not really any rotations that can come in quickly. Crucial's all the way over in the apartments on B. Mighty Max over in ladder. Thomas is now making his way over. We've only sees S75. He's not able to do much. Robin gets one. Actually a second as well, but it's a two for two over by the ramp room. And Thomas now going to be next in line to try and defend this A site. But with just a CZ-75, needs to at least try and find one. At least try and find one here. We haven't even spotted him yet. He's playing in default. Nico coming out of Palace might be the victim here. Unless he can get the shot off quickly. If he's prepared for it, that could be huge. But Thomas, actually, did he spot out one? He's definitely spotted the bomb. Takes down Tessas. That's the bomb dropped in the open. And that's a huge loss for Heroic. But Stalin catching the rotation and finding Thomas on the site. Leaves it just but towards the orp of Crucial. Who has spotted one out towards the palace. The bomb not yet planted. Still 13 seconds on the clock. They're running out of time. Crucial missing the Sodom Palace. The bomb's getting planted inside of a smoke. And it will go down. Crucial not going to try and take that shot. And now one versus two. Nico will rotate over towards the ramp, and Crucial's just going to push forward, spots down around the side to the side of the smoke, and Crucial's just going to hold the bomb, he actually expects Nico to peek, goes off it, hears him at the ramp room, and Crucial, a beautiful one versus two that secures endpoint another round, and they make it work with the limited weaponry. Nico just making so much noise on the rotation. I don't think Crucial would have had enough time to stick it, so probably for the best he does get off it there. Heroic themselves do have another buy, that bomb plant. Does definitely help them out, as you can see. Those extra $800 being used by pretty much everyone on the team. Just to get a bit of extra weapon and utility up and well, Cadian. I'm surprised he actually gets the leg shot there on towards Surreal, but it's still going to be the kill going endpoints way and a smoke to try and block off the ramp room, but Nico is able to catch Robin just before it pops. Surreal having to run away through the Molotov. It is a 4 on 4. Roic still can try and fight the way into this round. Almost with just a UMP. You don't see the UMPs all that often anymore. So you're actually going to be wielding a secondary AWP now as well. With that low HP as he does take off one of those kills. And to borrow up from short. But as the push comes through. Oh my god, Tessas. That was huge. He's just so excited. He shoots his teammates. He gets a third as well. 
No, it's just crucial. Another clutch needed here for him. This time it's a bit more of a tough ask. A one versus three. Bomb now being planted. And you think he's just going to try and sit up and maybe pick off a player or two. He's just going to go for the save. And Heroic do answer back. That bead is tight defense. Not really working out. Surreal's able to pick off one. It looks like it's going to be working out well. But Tessess just absolutely huge finding free. And a little bit of damage onto his teammate as well. But the main of the free kills to be focused on. Great work. Point again, they're in a tough point economically. Having Crucial won that one versus two, it's it really hasn't helped them out much. As you can see, it's just pistols, a single MP9 coming through. Thomas is actually going to be wielding the dual Berettas. Let's see that cowboy ride. Love to see the dual Berettas come out every now and then, especially if we can get a kill or two. Yeehaw, am I right? <laughs> well, that Crucial up. Needs to try and find some big frags here. Give them a chance to grab thing. And well, it's not going to because Tess has just found it through the smoke on Cat. And that is a big blow to endpoint early on. Now just a pistol is left and a, an SMG for Mighty Max. It's real over in Palace with Robin. Oh, that's a lovely shot from the Deagle, though. Brings things back into a 4-on-4. Four four. And actually, that's an AK picked up as well. As Nico didn't have any sort of assistance with him. It's an untraded kill. Now, it looked like they're going to be pushing this B site. Cadian picks one off with the AWP. But the MP9 on short. That is huge from Mighty Max. The IGL showing how it's done. And on a couple quick kills. Hurst down. Drop down. And now will get four by him. Stown going huge himself. Almost gets the free K. But those Deagle, sorry, the Jubarettas from Thomas do make it sing. Now Thomas left in the one versus one. Cadian's just going to be backing away. I'm planting on that A site. Cadian actually they went for the peak. I'm not sure. Well, he wasn't looking the right way, so I don't think, definitely didn't see. Thomas over in mid there. Ten seconds left. Thomas surely going to be realising that it is going to be the A site roundabout now. So one versus one. Caden going to be picking himself a fight over towards CT. But he is very much dead. A nice shot from Thomas. Doesn't even give Caden the chance to see him. Wrong move, Cadian, and endpoint. Another just forced by victory. They had an AWP, a few pistols, and MP9, and they managed to win it out against this heroic side to pick themselves up a seventh round on heroic's map pick as well. But again, endpoint winning these rounds, just one player surviving. Their economy is just so on the edge. It's an MP9 for Robin, a FAMAS for Surreal. A couple of M4s and that AWP that was saved. And Crucial getting tagged down early, legged by Stown's AWP. Towards a ramp, it's Cajun and Tessas who combine for a couple of kills, completely opening up that A site. And it's going to be endpoint needing to save these. Weapons that are remaining. A couple of M4s and the AWP. But where are we going to keep fighting back? These rounds keep going back and forth between these two teams. Neither one's really able to build up a string of rounds. Both of their economies are just so close to breaking. And Heroic will be getting a nice boost in this one. Having four players alive is certainly going to help out. It's a nice set of moolah coming in towards their back pockets, alongside the bomb plant as well. Here's an extra $800. And 
Heroic not really chasing. They know that the economy is important to them as well. They're just happy to let the uh, almost four grand roll into their accounts. Endpoint going to have to try and <laughs> probably force by around these weapons. Give themselves a strong chance. If it's maybe just two, you say, maybe take the eco, but they are going to go for that force by a couple of eagles on Robin and Surreal. Alongside those two M4s and the old for Crucial. We'll see if they're able to find anything here. It seems like the way this game is going, that the opening... Kill made aside and Ancadian does pick off Crucial the Orp, winning out for the heroic side. Surreal now picking up the mantle of that weapon. Upgrading that Deagle. Mighty Max is aggressive over towards the apartment. It's going to walk into Stout's cross there though. And that is another kill going heroic's way. They look like they're going to be finding a fifth here. But Thomas still over towards the van. Should be able to find one. Never mind. Stout is on a tear on that B site. Two kills coming through for him. Robin. Maybe pushing through underground. Maybe finds one kill. On towards Nico. And just if he's just a bit quicker, might be able to catch the bomb carrier there and put Heroic in an awkward position, but with a minute still on the clock, I don't think it would have changed the outcome of the round. Especially not as Tessess. Now in position is ready to ruin Robin. And there goes the Orp surreal. Gets caught by Caden and then Heroic do find themselves a fifth, so they are able to string a couple rounds together here and start to build up a bit of economy. Keeping all of their plays alive once again. Endpoint there, just going to have to go for an eco here. Half buy at most. Just to buy down to round 2, 2.5k and, and get the full buy in the next round. Which they are going to be doing. Couple of Deagles, PT50, couple of USPs. They should be heroics around every single day of the week. And there's the opening, Cadian. Making this orb work now. I mean, Endpoint probably just hoping for a kill or two at this point. Anything more than that is going to be a little bit greedy. As a group of a four-man over in mid. They're probably going to be pushing together, actually. They're going to send a couple around the back over towards key spawn. What are we doing here, actually? It's a little confusing. You're having a bit of a group meeting over in top mid. Mighty Max over in Palace looking to try and find a kill. I'm surprised he didn't just group up and try and fight together. Easy shot for Nico. What are they doing? Like, they, they sent Mighty Max on a bit of a push towards the Palace. Now they've got Robin and Thomas just a bit further back. Were they just trying to bait Heroic into trying to save in this area? I mean, it's worked out if that's the case, and they managed to find a kill as well. They don't really want to be challenging these pistols on Heroic's side. But they are going to keep doing so. No more kills coming through. But Heroic now just one round behind the endpoint side. We'll be hoping to maybe close out at least one more, maybe two, to get the lead at the half. But Heroic already on seven. It's a very strong CT side. for both teams as well. Crucial is missing a bit of utility on that orb. He's now missing his head as Nico has tapped it off down with another one. Robin eventually finds one, but it's just heroic. Just assaulting that A site and just finding all the kills necessary. Just Mighty Max and Thomas remain. Well, now it's just the IGL. One versus four and oh, Porup looking pretty on point as well. It's going to be tied up 7-7 seven seven with Heroic finding a nice sequence of rounds at the end of the half here. Finally able to break Endpoint and their economy. Just heroic. Surely, able to find an eighth here with 
Mighty Max, Robin just on MP9s, Thomas and Crucial on Famas is a scout for real. In the opening kill for Heroic. Nico takes a lot of damage but does find the opening. Another coming through for Heroic as well over towards the apartments. And they're just, just cleaning up house here. The two left for the endpoint side. Mighty Max can't even find the killer just down. Who's left with just one point of health. So real now. Can he find anything here? Just to, to pad his stats if if anything. Scout might be able to find Stown. Goes around. So no, the 1 HP is enough for Stown. As he does find another kill. And we will be switching halves now, obviously. Heroic now onto that CT side. Onto the defense. While Endpoint will be switching over towards the attack. Stown is currently 17 and 8. 17 and 8. That's outrageous. He's just decided that he's had enough of Endpoint winning these rounds. And... And well, he's just he took, he's taken matters into his own ha own hands. We're just waiting for this game to go back live. Do just have a short break. At, um, well, the, the winner of this match, this best of three, will be facing Fnatic versus Nordvin. The winner of that match, a uh, loser will be out. So, um, or a lot on the line here for these two teams. Obviously, if you can get in towards the the next uh, match, the round of eight. The winner from that one does qualify for uh, the main CS Summit event, CS Summit 6 Online. While the loser will be dropping actually into the lower bracket for the round of 8s. Um, as opposed to round of 16 where you just straight eliminated. So in the round of 8 it's then just a... Uh... No, sorry, not... Yeah, in the round of 8 you you drop down into a lower bracket, which is just a semi-final bracket. Um, win two matches there, two best of threes there, and you uh, qualify as well. So there is five slots up for grabs from this uh, closed qualifier for Europe. NA slightly differently. There's less teams in NA, so it's a bit different how it works, but it's generally the same concept. But it looks like from the heroic side that Nico is going to be Bringing a, bringing a kit into this round, a kit and a smoke. So he's going to be the mule for them. I'm assuming they're probably the rest of the team going to be just bringing through armor, but maybe an extra play with a smoke, a couple flashes or something like that. Well, then point, as usual, have Mighty Max as the grenade mule for themselves. Robin will also join him on that one. So a couple smokes, a few flashes, a hate sheet. Heroic just going to have that single smoke for Nico as the game does get back live. Endpoint looking like they're going to be hitting this A site pretty swiftly here. A minute 40 on the clock. The smoke's already coming through from the endpoint side as they do push out the two players in defense. But they're both over towards CT and they're both going to get locked out of this site pretty quickly with those smokes over towards the triple... Sorry, towards the connector side. But look at Nico's position. He's not been checked for. It's actually brought up and Stown who were able to get a couple of those kills. And now pushing in. It's the rest of these heroic plays, but it's all going to be, well, pretty... Messed up here. It's a lot of corpses, a lot of death and destruction. But Bart pushing in is now trying to bring a bit of sanity for his team. Surreal's now left one versus three. A player close by, and he cannot collect. And Borup does seal out the last kill for Heroic to find themselves a ninth. Pissed around does come through, and I mean, they do collect the kit. Plenty of time though for the defuse on Borup, who does not have one. It does come through. Heroic just going to stretch out the lead a little bit. Endpoint with that bomb plant going down, they get an extra $800 per player. So they are just going to buy a little bit into this one. No armor, but a few pistols coming through. A few, well, four HE grenades coming through as well. Is there going to be the airstrike in towards the window? Cadian, better watch out. You better not cry. It's not... Well, he's dead. <laughs> he did not watch out. He is going to be crying after that one. A lovely assortment of HEs from Endpoint. And Crucial doing more damage as well. They managed to find themselves a couple kills. Crucial actually picks up the AWP out of all of that. Oh, are they going to be able to mop this one up? And they have the rifles, they have the armor, but crucial on it all. Might be able to find a bit more for this 
endpoint side obviously have the advantage as well. So if they can trade out these rifle players, that'll be usually successful for endpoint. But Borapil will to get Robin and a lot of damage onto Surreal as well as he pushes forward to find more. Bor doing so much work as Tessus now rotates in as well. This is the round that they need and the round that they should be collecting. But the trades do come through. Endpoint now leave themselves in a one versus one. Crucial. Trying to find his fourth kill in the round to secure this round for endpoint. Just down to face. Crucial is going to go for the bomb plant. Down's not going to peek, expecting a fake, but Crucial is just going to be sticking it. Now, where does this, he expect Down to be pushing from? It is over towards CT, and he can't quite find the shots. Down's M4 wins it out. And Roic just about make it work to find themselves into double digits. But a very, very costly round there. Endpoint doing a lot of damage with a little... Well, with a little... <laughs> with little weapons, I guess you could say. Down just... Uh, Having a little bit of a mooch around. Yeah, Endpoint only had pistols in that one. Four HEs that were able to early nade into window, taking him down, taking down Cadian. And it sort of spiraled a little bit from there. Roke did bring it back thanks to Borup holding that A site pretty strong. Didn't over challenge for those early fights. Took down one in connector and then just uh, protected himself from the ramp. Now Endpoint do have that full bag for themselves, obviously. Another bomb plant coming through, another stack of cash coming into the bank account. So it is a pretty nice buy. Heroic, an okay buy for them. They have the Orc for Cadian saved across, but only a single M4, a FAMAS for Tessas, and a couple... Oh, an MP9, another FAMAS for Borop as well. So, could be better weapons, but that nade strike towards top mid does a lot of damage towards Mighty Max, who's now just down to... A quarter of his HP and the Molotov follow-up as well. Mighty Max is going to have to deploy smoke to protect himself. Keep himself alive. Even though... He does give away his position. Still a 5-on-5. Five five. Thomas looking for an opening towards the ramp. Does pick up the first and a second. Nice work from Thomas there. Give Endpoint a nice advantage in this round. Still has 20 points of health left as well. So he may still be able to find more. With 40 seconds. Caden's able to tag bomb with the ult. But in the repeat, Crucial is waiting for him. So Endpoint just going to stretch out the advantage in this round. And will be... Finding an 8th in the first round for themselves on this T side. It's now just Tess Essence down. Going to be saving these rifles that they've got. Might match just throwing that up a little bit further away. Making sure that Heroic aren't going to be able to try and sneak in and snatch it. I mean, it's unlikely, but Mighty Max are thinking, man. Never cognizant of the possibilities. Point are just going to close things back up a little bit. Heroic, what are they going to do in this next round? They're not really going to have any money to work with. Caden's got, well, Caden's got two and a half K, and that is the most that any player for Heroic has at the moment. Obviously, they have those two saved rifles. So they could go for the force buy here, but it's it's a risk. And if they lose this one, it's going to be endpoint probably on 10 rounds. It looks like they are going to go for it. They're going to try and Fight back against Endpoint, who, even if Heroic win this round, will have another bite in the next. So it's a uh, it's a risk from Heroic. I, I, I sort of see where they're coming from. There's no real right answer here. Maybe the eco would have just been a little bit better. Get the buy up in the next round. I think they're maybe thinking double eco either way. They go for the force bind. That is going to open up with an opening kill on towards Stout. Well, on towards Thomas. Courtesy of Stout. So maybe this actually... I think this actually will work out for the heroic side. Tessa's trying to take the peak. Had a flashbang that was good from a teammate, but the endpoint players able to took themselves into safety. Mighty 
Max around the smoking connector might be able to find the low HP of Stout. Or collect it, so brings it into the floor on four. And now endpoint looking like they're going to try and attack this A site, which only has one defender right now, and that's Nico. Over in the palace with a salvaged weapon off of a off of Thomas's body. And with Caden being caught on the rotate as well, this just surely seals around for endpoint. But Tessus with the Famas over towards the ladder room is able to catch Robin in connector. Bomb will be collected by endpoint, but look at Nico still over in the palace. He might be able to shut down this round from here. Surreal, this looks like he's watching for an end of spotted out. And Nico not able to actually find the kill. All of that for nothing. Maybe could have waited a little bit longer, but poor ups Deagle. A lovely shot there. Brings it back into the two on two. Tessas able to pick up an AK 47. Crucial on the orb. Looking for the shots there around the edge of the box. They're spamming through. They're wasting all their ammo. Spamming through the box. It's not really connected onto Crucial, but eventually Tessas will find the shot. Leaves it up towards Surreal. A one versus two, and he's going to try and rotate around towards the ramp. They don't have a kit on the heroic side, so it's going to have to be a 10 second defuse. Surreal just needs to try and work the time off the bomb and. Borup's going to tap it again, now holding towards the ramp. Surreal takes a peek just at the right time, and that's surely the round coming here for now for Surreal and for Endpoint with Tessess on an AWP. He's going to try Molotov in the ramp, but it goes a little bit too deep. Surreal can still peek. Oh no, he's going to burn in the Molotov down to three points of health. Luckily, Tessess is going to be running away, but I think Surreal is dead. It's an expensive round for Endpoint, but it's a round nonetheless. Close things up once more to Heroic. So the force buy from them not working out in terms of getting themselves around. And Endpoint can still buy up. But it certainly cost Endpoint a lot of economy. As Endpoint do just take themselves a time out here. We have Heroic with that AWP save courtesy of Tessus. Currently dropped over towards Nico. I wonder if it will remain in his hands. I wonder if it's spawn based. He is... Closest to the A site, so might take a peek towards a ramp, maybe, or maybe in towards connector. I think Heroic just going to take the eco on this one, try and find some damages. Nico actually does drop the AWP over towards Cadian, so maybe the strategy just changing a little bit for them, giving it to the more experienced AWP player. Open to try and find as much damage with it as possible as it does go over towards that B site. And this could be huge, actually, as he does peek up a quick boost up from a teammate. Allows him to find Robin not ready for that peek. And now they push forward. He's able to find a sec as well. Cadian on this orb could be instrumental. He finds a third. Looking for more. His teammate's going to be taking a lot of damage. He will fall. And eventually Caden will fall as well. Thomas trying to restore a bit of normality for endpoint here. But they're in the disadvantage. And Thomas with just two points of health. There's a couple players over towards Short who are going to be pushing forwards. And Crucial getting caught. And well, endpoint. They drop the ball against just a single orb and pistols. Cadian absolutely huge there. Finding three kills, playing around in that box on the A site. And it does find Heroic in 11th. Congrats to that one. That has actually broken endpoint here. They do have enough in the full buy for... Well, do have enough in the economy for a full buy in the next round. A few deagles, a couple... With pistols alongside it. They're just going to allow a heroic a 12th hit. And with Cadian finding that opening kill into Crucial, it will just surely be a formality for the heroic side. A little bit of a boost to their economy. They can keep some decent players alive. 4 or 5 would be just right for them. Is going to be the pushing towards a B site for him, but it's a disadvantage. Robin's able to find one, but Nico at the back of the site is just finding a number of kills. That'll be his third. Left with just one point of help, but Mighty Backs with just four of his own. He'll surely get taken down here. This down comes in from short with the AWP, and he's going to be heroic on that 12th. Extending things out to a three round lead again. Endpoint are going to go for the five AK-47s here, so they're not going to get the AWP up. They didn't have enough money to do so. I mean, Thomas could have bought one, but he would have been unable to get himself armor. And 
And obviously he's not the primary orb, so probably would have had to drop it over to us. Crucial. And that would have left him without armor and a rifle, which isn't really all too great. Had a nice nade early on from her. It does tag Surreal down. Down to around 60 points of health. Running the double up setup might be enough to take the win in this round over endpoint and really solidify this first map as theirs. It's looking a bit shaky at the start of this map for Heroic. Obviously, endpoint taking a pretty early lead, 5 to 1, I believe, or I think it ended up like 7 to 2 at some point. But Heroic did bounce back, took the 8 7 lead at half time. Been a little back and forth in the second half, but Heroic now. Trying to stretch the legs a little bit. Obviously still a 5-on-5, five five, so this round yet to be determined, but Heroic looking like they're going to be in a good position. Tessa solo towards this B site. Might be under a lot of pressure. Needs to be careful. Able to get the first. Looking for more, though. Now has rotations coming in as Borum catches the flank over towards the palace. The endpoint side, they're just not pushing forward. They're in a 3-on-5, and they can't find an entrance towards this B site. It was only Tessa's here, and he's going to be looking for more. Able to find Surreal as well, and crucial. He gets three kills on that defense. Huge from Tessa. It's now just Robin. A one versus four. And he doesn't spot Nico under the window. The Heroic do find themselves on a 13th. And they do just extend the lead out another round step by step. They're going to take the Eco 4 endpoint. They will have the buy up in the next round. It will be 14 to 9 surely. That's going to be endpoint five rounds behind if it's the case. Before they get themselves the buy up. Fast pushing towards the A site. Robin collects an early kill on towards Borup there. Nico finds one in return, but he's like, taking the aggressive fight. Gets caught by Thomas after finding two for himself. Cadian trying to restore a bit of normality from CT. He's getting tagged down as well. It's still just Mighty Max and Thomas, but the Tech 9 makes things work. It makes the dream work for Endpoint, but Cadian's up. It's going to turn it into a bit of a nightmare for them. Mighty Max left in a 1 versus 2. Spots out Cadian over towards. The ticket booth, a bit of spam exchange between the two of them. And Mighty Max not able to find that shot on towards Caden. The legs just sticking through the edge of the smoke. Can't quite find the shot. So now, lays him in a one versus two. He does Molotov. It's down off the angle a little bit. He's just going to collect the bomb back away here. Maybe change in position over towards the palace instead. Double lorps for Heroic. Currently situated over in Connector and Jungle. Mighty Max, do you spot Caden out over towards the jungle? He had, definitely has now. Puts him down low on HP. Trying to find that kill. It'd be so huge, but he's to be careful of down and not expecting it's down. Is It'll just a peek out from the bottom of the stairs. Secures the 14th for Oak. Another costly round for them. Just against those pistols, but endpoint. Got a lot of work to do here now. Is Crucial going to go for the AWP? Yes, he is. Glass Cannon. Though means he has no armor. We're going to continue running those double orbs. They've been working out nicely for them here. Tessas again, sole defender of that B site. He's been more than enough in recent times for the heroic defense. Surreal has managed to get himself a little bit aggressive in towards the apartments. Tessas needs to be careful. But the spam from Surreal gives his position away. And a lot of damage done on towards both Mighty Max and Surreal. Absolutely none done to heroic so far. With that push from Borup, that'll be changing pretty quickly as Robin takes him down. So Endpoint given the actual player advantage despite the damage done towards some of their players. This push as well from Mighty Max. Completely just not expected by the heroic side. Mid left with the young guard. If Mighty Max just able to walk up through connect. But Cajun's still in the sandwich. This could be a huge position as long as they don't check for him. But it looks like Robin is going to be around in the corner and we'll find him. Heroic now left in a 2. Make it a 1 versus 5. Tessess that B defender. Probably just needs to save at this point. And I should have gone to the toilet before this map. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get in overtime. I mean, I wouldn't be complaining, but uh, my bladder certainly would.
But a clean round from endpoint. Does just help to boost their economy. Allows them to sustain a loss on the heroic side. And they do make their way into a double digits. I mean, Tessas probably could have gone for a, 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 an attempt at the fuse there. I mean, no smoke. It would have been quite difficult. I think the endpoint plays up ramp. Probably would have heard it. Just four rounds between these two teams. Endpoint still got to fight another full buy of the heroic players. But it may be their last if they do lose it. Crucial is able to get armor up as well for that AVP. And lucky it does is he gets naded down to 47 early on. Borup is actually able to find the opening kill. It's down court over towards the apartments though. Does put Endpoint into a slight advantage. A 4 on 3. Asian still on the AWP though. Trying to find the shot from Connector. Endpoint needs to be careful. Mighty Max especially here. Okay, then we'll just drop the nade. Not able to connect much of it. And the smoke from Endpoint will just force him back. Allows the Endpoint player to cross safely across Cat. And support this B site hit, but a 4 on 2. 4 on 3, sorry. Borup coming from late. On T spawn, this could be derailing Endpoint's plans. Mighty Max is on a lurk of his own, but who's going to be able to find it first? I think Borup is going to be able to find the kill first, and that's the bomb going down as well. 50 seconds on the clock. Endpoint now need to fight for this bomb, and uh, Borup's doing so much here just to delay the Endpoint side. Mighty Max on the flank of his own. Maybe able to find some decent kills here. Definitely has Cadian looking for more though. He needs to be careful. He doesn't overextend. His advantage is just find Tessas and Cajun. Beautiful from the endpoint IGL. Now it's just Borup who needs to be dealt with. And he has the bomb. So we all might just try and snatch and grab the bomb. He will get it. And he will get them his way over towards the B site. Mighty Max covering his escape. And endpoint do <laughs> make the way out of her. Out of that tricky situation there. 11 on the board. A huge round from the IGL there. Finding the double kill on towards the B site. Heroic was so focused on their own flank, they didn't expect one from Mighty Max. So Endpoint going to keep Heroic off. Match point for just a... Or map point, I should say. Not quite match point yet. Still got a couple more to play, but off map point for the time being. And they should be able to find another one here. Just pistols for the Heroic side. Eagle. New USPs. P2K. See if Heroic were able to find any kills here. They'd be probably be happy with a kill or two. Don't expect anything else. Excuse me. I don't know if you heard that, but a uh, little bit of a burp escaped my lips. Thomas going to be pushing through the palace. Should be able to find Stout here. Spots him out and uh, does take the kill. Keeping himself fully HP as well. Sort of just the pick that Endpoint need. A minute still on the clock. Stack over towards the B site with a few of the players. Leaves just Nico on that A site with a pistol. Just a P2K. Don't know why people still use the P2K. Let's see if it's a, a magical weapon. I mean, it's it's not a very fair judgment, but uh, I mean, he gets a dink off. But this should just be Endpoint mopping things up as all these pistol players just falling. To the rifles, just Cadian left as Endpoint surely in find as well. Fair, I mean, I think it's pretty safe to say Cadian not going to be able to find a one versus five for USP and a Zeus here. Over towards the palace, he might be able to catch at least one, maybe. Pushes forward. He might just try and drag some players onto the site again, but Robin just watching for him. Easy kill, easy pickings, and endpoint now with a 12. So heroic need to be 
Need to be a little bit more careful now. They had a solid lead and it's starting to slip away for them. Just two rounds separate endpoint from tying things up. And the endpoint economy is starting to build up as well, as you can see. Both Mighty Max and Surreal around or above that AK mark. Crucial at about 7k. Thomas and Robin, 4 and 5k for them. A nice tag from Kade. You're not quite able to find the kill on towards Crucial. Just put him down low, and that just makes things a little bit more difficult for Crucial in trying to take fights. And he's going to take the refight as well. No one's going to be able to find the opening pick, but a lot of damage done early towards the endpoint side. Position. He's able to get one though, but burning the flames, he sticks around a little bit too long. And a couple kills come through for endpoint in response to that one from Nico. Crucial though, just get naded down. Dunks by Stown. Low HP works out. Beautiful from Mighty Max as well, just absolutely reading that situation. Nails Cadian. Rings endpoint that advantage once more, and a bomb getting planted on his A site now. These last two plays for Heroic being shut out, it should just be endpoint. Able to mop up another here, a 13th for them. Unless Tess and down do something magical as they do find the first Mighty Max getting dropped. Two more players to find though, and Thomas on the AWP over towards CT. He needs to be careful, and he takes the peak a bit. Outrageous to try and do that. Not ready if there's a player upstairs, but he almost lined up for Surreal. He's only able to find one, and a beautiful retake from Heroic. Puts them on 15, and M point dropping the ball in the 3 on 2. Five, the 10 second defuse is coming through, but it is plenty of time. Thomas a little bit too over aggressive on that peak with the AWP. Peeking out wide, not expecting the AWP on stairs already. And that's given up the advantage that Endpoint had over Heroic. And that was, well, the economy for the most part. But they're now giving up the map point as well. Three rounds needed for Endpoint to try and force overtime in this first map, and I mean, it seems likely that it may be coming through as Endpoint looking strong here on this T side once again. The rounds keep sort of shifting back and forth, a few stretches of rounds for each team. Roic still just left with a few Famases that AWP and the M4 saved. His Famas is still definitely capable of finding kills and turning the tire around, but definitely prefer a full M4 or even an AK-47. Endpoint definitely will want to hit this A site. Down just jump spotting over towards B, not spotting anything at all. Mighty Max is ready to push through Connector from mid, while the rest of the team are going to be hitting from the ramp and palace. So now the utility starts to come on over towards that A site. There's a lot of presence here from Heroic as well. Three plays on the site and a fourth over in jungle. But there's Nico going to get burnt down another time. But it's surreal. Oh my god, all the kills just coming through for endpoint. Tess is trying to push his way in through the edge of the smoke over by the bench. Not able to find anything in court by Mighty Max in connector. What a hit from endpoint. Kill on a Molotov and a kill on a nade. Beautiful from endpoint there, just to take down most of the heroic players before they could even spot the endpoint players pushing in. That is one from the Mighty Max playbooks right there. Stout gonna be trying to hold on to the M4. He doesn't take the P against Mighty Max, but loses it. So heroic gonna have absolutely nothing in this next round. Endpoint have crippled them. Heroic surely have to take the eco here. Surely have to allow endpoint 14 and try and deny them the 15th. Taking the force here is surely just going to allow endpoint to find that 15th so much easier. I think this is going to be a done deal for endpoint this round. And I think Heroic, it's all going to rest for them on that final round. The 30th. And <laughs> we may well be going to OT endpoint. A lot of economy behind them. They can sustain losses in this one. They can chase Heroic for the kills if they need to. And it's a lot of aggression from Heroic over towards the apartments early on. Surreal and Robin need to try and collect the kills. But Nico is actually able to find one on the P2K. Maybe it isn't so bad after all. Surreal is now sort of boxed in towards the apartments. But he's still finding shots. And Molotov's raining in on him. He's just going to try and escape. But Tessess is ready to claim the kill. So a couple kills for Heroic here. A couple rifles picked up as well. But the rest of the endpoint side are going to be pushing over towards this A site instead. 
the three on three heroic may just try and save these two AKs. Maybe send Nico in for a little bit of an investigation to maybe pick up something of his own. These AKs for heroic gonna be pretty nice coming into the next round. Definitely a lot better than an M4. Nico isn't even going for the hunt for any players. He's just going to try and be a sort of early warning system for his teammates to keep these AKs alive. Our endpoint aren't actually going to be chasing as of yet. They are going to clear out CT. But as the bomb ticks down, they're just going to let that expire. Just keep these weapons up. Don't want to... Excuse me. Don't want to hand anything extra over towards the very exciting. It does all come down to this final round. Nice shot from Cruiser, though. Does deny Nico that P2000. I mean, he obviously gets another one for free in this round, but you never know. I might just annoy Nico, tilt him, and uh, who knows. <laughs> it all comes down to this. The full buy for both teams. Obviously, those AKs, very nice for the heroic side. They get a bit of extra utility for both Tessess and Borup. Tessa's going for the early short jump, able to catch an opening, trying to find a second as well. Does find Crucial, and those are some Crucial frags indeed. Finding two opening picks, Endpoint on the back foot in this final round. Thomas getting so much damage done to him as well, and Surreal is able to pick up one of his own towards that B site, but he himself is put down to less than 20 HP. So Heroic in such a strong position here. Close this out, 16-14 endpoint. They still have a chance of getting OT. It's not all over. Endpoint can find some clean kills here. Bring it into a 3-on-3, maybe a 3-on-2. That would be stupendous for them. They work their way through cap. Nobody's actually going to be holding this for the heroic side. There's a flashbang from mid. And Nico's going to rotate around. Off that B site, Tessa, sorry, Stalin is aggressive over towards the apartments. Endpoint have control of ladder room and short, and now just this B site is actually completely open. We're just down over in the apartments to try and hold them back. Our endpoint going to be cognizant of the player up in the apartments. We really expect the aggression from Heroic in this situation. I mean, that's why they've rotated Nico back over, but as the nades now coming towards this B site, that's going to start the rotation from Heroic. And can Stown find anything from this apartment position? They're not checking for him. Or actually, is Thomas. Thomas is watching for him in a beautiful kill. That is exactly what Endpoint needed to try and force overtime here. They brought it into the free on free. And with this bomb going down, the timer ticking now. It's up to Heroic to be the ones to try and find something to give them an edge here. Endpoint. With the cars, but a lot of damage done to these endpoint players. They need to be careful not to take fights that aren't going to be too advantageous. Thomas must find. Actually, no, he's not. Robin is going to find a quick double as he push out, but Bart with two of his own. Now a one versus one. Robin needs to try and defend the site, and he does. Endpoint put it into overtime. A three on five. They make it work, and the Brits come out clutch. Heroic dropping the ball there in that round. Stown had every right to shut that round down, but it's a beautiful shot. Just, just. <laughs> takes about the round. Thomas, I think it was. He was cognizant of that player in the apartments, and we're getting straight into overtime here. This is MR 310k, so you need to be careful. You don't want to spend too much in these early rounds and not have enough in the final round if you're not able to claim a win or two. But this is Heroic's map pick, and it is Endpoint pushing them to overtime here. This is going to turn out to be a great series. This first map is already delivering in every single regard. It's now, well, the economy is now not a factor for the most part. It's just going to be up to these IGLs to try and outbrain the opponent and for these 10 players just to try and hit some shots. Obviously, they've been doing that the entire game already, but. Now is when the individual plays make such a difference. Pretty slow start to this round. I mean, on the clock, we're still everyone on 100 HP. Endpoint Scarlet to make their approach towards this B site. It is going to be Stown in defense once more. 
Truly Solo with the orb. Can't find anything. There's a quick kill. Tess is over by short. Quick on the rotation. Able to find one on the trade with the M4 through the smoke. But a four on four. M point not able to get the bomb down as of yet. Thomas over by the ramp. Does get spotted by Nico. Is he able to find the shot? Thomas just going to back away. That's the... One of these heroic players not able to rotate as quickly as they would have liked. And Robin finding Tessus by short. That's a nuisance dealt with for the endpoint side. Bringing it back into their advantage. Cadian is going to be pushing in from that same angle and able to find one. But crucial quick on the trade. Brings it back into the endpoint favor. These kills just going back and forth. Now Nico trying to push in alongside Bora. Need to try and find his kills. He's able to get one. But Mighty Max close by. Surely able to get one as well. He does. But Bora quick on the trade. Not able to save his teammate. But the nade and then Molotov on towards the bomb. Bora has absolutely no chance here. He has a kit. As the Molotov just begins to fade, there's no time for him to get the defuse. He's just trying to deny Thomas his life. But I think it's going to be Borup who will be going down here to the bomb. And Endpoint do find themselves a 16th. First round of overtime going towards them. Rowick not quite able. I think that won't work. They keep finding the trade frags, but not able to pull themselves into an advantage on that retake. There's another full buy from Heroic, but as you can see, the 10k start money in overtime does have its impact now. As it's down, Cadian, Borup, all. Very low on cash. They need to be careful. Maybe Heroic need to try and save some weapons if they're not able to pick up this round. May not be able to get the orb in the next round as well. And at endpoint, look to try and hit this A site. Bore up underneath the palace, getting naded out into Surreal's crosshair. A quick kill coming through. Thomas with another stout. Eventually finds one for the jungle, but can't fall back. He's going to get naded. By the TCT side and a couple dunks from endpoint. Robin and Surreal combined to find the kill as Tess tries to push in from CT. Does a lot of damage, can't quite find the kill. And I thought maybe he might be able to get the lineup onto the bomb plant as well, but it doesn't work out for him. And it's heroic two player disadvantage. Adrian's just going to be keeping hold of this AWP, maybe trying to find a shot. We'll catch. Surreal endpoint. I'm going to be too fussed about the money. They have plenty. And I'm getting plenty at the end of this round as well. Games is able to take another way as well, but endpoint will be the ones who are going to be claiming the 17th round. And that's what matters here in overtime. Two already going the way of endpoint, and it's a CT side that's floundering for Heroic at the moment. As you can see, so is the money. Tess can drop one. Nico can maybe get a buy up. Caden can drop a Famas or something. It's going to be an okay buy, probably an SMG for one player. Nico might just get himself a Famas, so it's not too bad in the end. A couple of M4s, a couple of Famases, the AWP. Those saves obviously helping out a lot for Heroic. The AWP and the M4 carried through. And Heroic really needed this one round here. Tess has tried desperately to find one over in the apartments, an aggressive push. But is gifted nothing. Cajun gets taken down aggressive in towards the palace. The orb is out of action for Heroic. That's a big kill to find from Endpoint's perspective. One of those sage weapons gone already. It's real up in towards the window. Might be able to catch down here, but actually the fat mass in the ladder room is able to win out in that encounter. Giving Heroic a bit of a reprieve here. Four and four. They've just about a minute left on the clock in this final round of the first half of overtime. Nico is a sole defender towards this A site. And well, he's dead now. Thomas quick on that kill. Nico not even given the chance to fire a bullet there. Mighty Max watching the murder hole. This is just endpoint cleaning house on this T side. They're going to get the free and ill. That's going to be absolutely horrible for Heroic on their map pick. They need to... Try and find something here, but what can be found? Oh, that's not a clean kill. Ivor Borup needed that one cleanly, but can't find the back of Mighty Max's head. 
Sorry, but back into Crucial's head. Mighty Max is the one to trade it out. Tessus comes through jungle, but now left in a one versus two. It's Thomas and Robin to be found. And with the time taken away so far, he does have a kit. No utility, though, and only 40 points of health. This is just desperate for Heroic. I mean, he's obviously going to be going for it. It's the last round of overtime, but it's there's just no chance. As soon as he gets on the bomb, Thomas peeks out, and he is dead. Three and zero in overtime for Endpoint. One more round needed for them to take Heroic's map pick. After Heroic will look like they were going to be able to claim this one comfortably in that second half. And actually ends up with Endpoint turning the tides and now Endpoint on the defence. Well, Heroic will be on the attack. It's up to the Danes to try and... Try and find something huge. They, ob they obviously need to find three in a row here. They need to get the three and zero. They need to try and force a second overtime. Surely is just an impossible task for them. I've seen teams trade for your Hearthstone over time before, but not a Mirage. Definitely not a Mirage. Thinking Heroic are probably done at this point, but never the man to try and build up a bit of tension in situations like this. I will keep. Heroic in the running in my head, at least in my speech, but a nice nade from Mighty Max will keep down, down low, make him a little bit worried about peeking. That one kidding will step up to the mark to try and find a shot, but not able to hit Mighty Max on that jump peak. Now with a minute left on the clock, Heroic starting to form up towards this B site. There's just Mighty Max currently on the defense on the site. There is crucial... Over towards Short, who was able to rotate over quickly if need be to support his teammate and maybe pick off a player or two through the apartments. Surreal just pick off an opening, actually. With the AWP crucial on another as a push comes in towards the B site now. Tess not able to find anything. Actually, yes, he is. He finds crucial after his teammate falls. Can't find any more, though. Mighty Max on the bench doing work. He's eventually, Nico takes him down, but it's an hour one versus three to keep heroic in this map. It is their map choice. It's going to be so horrible for them to lose it, but with two players coming from short, Nico's not aware of that fact and going to be spotted out pretty soon here, surely. He does spot Surreal over in the market, but Thomas from short is going to be closing things out. 19 to 15. Heroic can't find anything in overtime. It is Endpoint who force it back. 15 to 12. It looks kind of down and out, but they'd force it back three in a row. The force overtime, then over four in a row in overtime. 